Uh, I represent a company who sells microwave test equipment. Uh, we also are connected into the telecommunications industry pretty heavily. Uh, of over late, we are actually been moving up into the millimeter wave range, and a lot of the markets are now going that way. The particular uh, instrument today that we're showing is a vector network analyzer. It is our, our economical scale. We call it our shock line unit based on the technology it's used for its samplers. But what allows us to also provide high performance samplers gives us a low cost platform that can be used very readily. Normally, people buying millimeter wave network analyzers we have to spend upwards of three to four hundred thousand dollars to get this frequency coverage. Today, this is running at a little over a hundred thousand dollars. So that gives you an idea what your what the scale is. This is an E-band unit. It's our MS forty six fifty four five twenty two. Uh, today, we're just demonstrating a millimeter wave filter. We've run twelve term error correction with our own home built. Uh, calibration kits. Uh, you can use all kinds of variations on the SOLT, SSST, TRL Cal it supports. And again, this device under test right now is strictly a waveguide filter, bandpass filter. Uh, we have active markers. These lower cost units are basically USB driven. So this one actually all it requires is a separate display and keyboard. The PC is all built in. You save your data on the PC. It operates pretty much as a standalone device. If you want to hook it up to your system on the internet, it could, you can uh, set up an IP address on it and access it over the internet whenever you like. Uh, there's multiple markers in this upper trace here. We're actually showing you bandwidth markers. Uh, as you can see, the trace update rate is quite high and would enable you to uh, do real-time filtering of any, or real-time tuning of any of your filters if that were to be the case. Uh, there are other models. This is quite a broad range of models that it comes with. In this case, this is a, uh, could come in an E-band module, which runs from 55 to 90 gigahertz, or you can buy them all the way down to DC to 40 gigahertz.